Hey folks, it's IOE Thermal back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Vert, and he is in his Object 277. It's a tier 10 game on Himmelsdorf, and it's an encounter battle, so, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit different from normal as we, uh, we proceed up the hill. Well, apparently, a good portion of the team is actually going down the hill. We're all actually surprised to see the Suma coming into the top of the hill with us. Whereas down the hill is actually really where he where really wants to be. He's not going to be much use up here. Unless he can get himself to an Overwatch position and no one harries him. But that's pretty much exactly why <laughs> I don't think he's going to be useful up here. Because he's going to get to an Overwatch position and then somebody's going to start harrying him. Yeah. Because, yeah. Okay, so... It looks like Fred is just gonna take up position on this corner. And ooh, with the armor on this tank, he can actually sit there and side scrape everything but that type four. So he's waiting for the type four to fire, and then he pops out and puts a shell into somebody. The Scorpion G is gonna be his next target. Unfortunately, the Scorpion G puts a shell into him first. So we're just gonna put one through the Udis. As the Scorpion G does actually find our Lord Glaces, which is how we you know, got hit by that. Type 4 is fired. Oh no, Type 4 hadn't fired. We actually got shot in the face. Return. Eh. 500 damage. Next time for 450 or 350. Probably a decent trade, but not one you want to take all that often. And right now he's just taking any shot he can get at any one he can get a shot into. Um, obviously he would prefer to take down the Type 5. But if you can get a shot to ooh, into the Scorpion, he missed high and wide, unfortunately. And oh, thankfully the, the Scorpion does go down to somebody else. But mm, high and wide hurts. He's looking for a shot on somebody. Obviously, he'd like a shot on the E3, but the Mill is looking like a good target right there for a second. Unfortunately, not able to get the shot out before allies stepped in the way. Shooting at the STRV is going to be an issue. Um, you can actually shoot, hit, go through the STRV with regular shells. Ooh, almost putting a shell into an ally there because, of course, ally steps in the way just as he was about to pull the trigger. And now he's looking for a shell on the E3 because it's just getting annoying. Uh, E3 did shoot us in the face, but thankfully, APCR does not go through this thing quite as easily as it would like. Seeing as he hit us, what, in the gun mantle? Right there on the side, yep. Um, are you pushing your ally out? This is not a good plan. Okay. I mean, I understand that that guy was really irritating you, and he kept doing things that were problematic and stuff, but you still should never push an ally out. Um,. Especially when you're uh, staring down the barrel with so many enemy tanks. Because you're just going to get rushed. Um, and the Conqueror tells him that he is not a nice person. He's aiming for the... Uh, don't auto-aim. This is not a situation to be auto -aim. You need to hit that E3 right in the Kapoa as the his, our meal 2 dies. He does put a shell into the E3. does, in fact, kill it. And now there's only two. There's only two friendly tanks in this area. Yeah, and there is a lot of enemies right here. And so as long as, I mean, if they decide to push, he is so boned. There's no way he gets out of the situation if they all push once. And there, there they come, pushing. Actually, he's just gonna let that guy go. Shoots the Type Four, takes him out. And now he's just going to face down the center B. He's li leaving the FB behind him. It doesn't matter. E3 is apparently fired at something. And ooh, if the E3 gets his gun on us, we're going to die. Or not. Or the E3 cannot get his gun on <laughs> Tracks him and uses the speed of this thing to get around the corner before the E3 can <laughs> fix himself. Standard B is over here. Knows what's coming, but unfortunately can't get himself out of the way as we start to mop up the enemy team. FB is over here, but we're going to take cover behind destroyed tanks and put a shell into him. 
Now there is a E3 coming up behind us. Don't forget, there's no way that guy... Oh, he's still over there. Well, okay, the STRV puts a great show into us as we start to decide, well, if the E3 isn't coming up behind us, there's no reason to stick around here. And Vert just gets out of there. Now he's going to take the, use the corners to put a shell into the E3 before it can get its gun on target. Remember, that thing doesn't have a turret, so it can't... It doesn't have any wiggle room. Nice shell into the STRV. Actually, <laughs> the shell into the STRV took his tracks off, letting him ram it. By the time he finishes this ram, he's going to have his shell reload and is able to... Nope, that is not at all what I expected to happen. And definitely there is an E3 coming up behind us now. Um, I expected that shell to actually kill the yeah, FE. That's not what happened. The fuel fire, though. That kills you. <laughs> with 22 health left, he finishes this. With just over 65 health, he rammed that STRV for the kill. Almost killing himself, but not quite. And now... There is an E3 somewhere nearby, and our team is capping. Holy smokes. One shell into the E3, and I'm just going to hug the, the, the corpse here. And if that E3 decides to fire HE, we're dead. If he's got AP goaded, though, he's not going to be able to reload in time. And that is game. Holy smokes. Talk about kicking off the week with a... <laughs> a good game, except for the fact that it would be Wednesday, but it's not the point. I, just because I can't tell what day it is, right? Wow. Well done, sir. This was a great game, and just, just, wow. <laughs> I should have saved this for a Saturday game. Holy smokes, that was awesome. Well done, sir. Well played, and let's just go see what you got for this. Master Badge, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Hand of God, Arsonist, Duas, Fire for Effect, Fighter, Shellproof, Four Bonds, Spartan, Steel Wall, and a High Caliber Award. I mean, <laughs> almost 1,300 base experience points. That's crazy. I mean, it's not that crazy considering the fact that, what, half the team barely did over 1,000 damage, including, by the way, the guy who said we should... uh Go jump off a cliff, more or less. Um, where was that? We It was this guy that we pushed out into the moment. Oh, I see. Platoon mate. Ah, ha, ha. That, and, of course, Suma, who came up on the hill. Obviously didn't do very much from there. Well done. Um, by far, he carried that uh, whole thing. I do want to say some props to E4. Obviously, he got some work done without him. This probably would have been a battle for nothing, but um, just wow. And uh, also, was it, it was the FE that, that survived the second longest up on that hill, and he made sure we didn't get flanked. Uh, so even though he may not have done a ton of damage, he, he's a tier 8 tank in a tier 10 game. He survived long enough to get props. Yeah. So yeah, well done, sir. Thank you so much for saying this in. This was a joy to watch. I cannot wait to see your next game. And, Lord, if it's something that good again, tell me. I didn't. It. I. The. The flavor text was that was weird. Very weird. Very very weird. Because that totally tells me that it was going to be an adrenaline fueled game, right? <laughs> okay. I'll see you all there. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you later this IOE throughout.